This week we head to Little Falls, and it's a perfect time with the canal celebration just around the corner. Since the early Algonquins, the Iroquois, and then the pioneer farmers and traders, the Mohawk River has been an important means of transportation. The canals that were built to bypass the rapids played an important role in Little Falls history. Much of that history can be explored at the Little Falls Historical Society and is celebrated during the canal celebration. This five-day event kicks off with a community picnic and fireworks at the Canal Harbor's Rotary Park. The canal celebration kind of came out of the Little Falls Business Association. The celebration lasted, but the association didn't. Uh, it developed every year and just kept getting bigger and bigger. Uh, now our 23rd year. So we wanted to do something that pinpointed the canal, but then showed the entire city, which is one of the very unique things about the canal celebration in that not only do we have events here in Rotary Park, we have them over in Stearnsville Park and Canal Place off of Benton's Landing, but then we also use Eastern Park, Vets Park, Burke Park, and uh, the area way up in our water preserve where uh, we do our uh, double dog dare race. And it just was a way to get people to see everything that there is here. That idea of commerce on the canal is pretty much gone. Now it's mostly for pleasure. What would a canal celebration be without a canoe and kayak race? Paddles along the Erie is a family friendly recreational competition, but some take it a bit more seriously. Well, you know, some competitors find it quite serious. We have a two-mile race and a four-mile race. We call it recreational. Uh, we have quite a few divisions, uh, short kayaks, long kayaks. We have women's, uh, men's. We have mixed canoe, uh, men's and women's. We have over, under, over. Tw uh, one racer has to be over 29, the other one under 16. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. And plus, they get on the water and they go up the river, and then they find out how beautiful it is, and uh, they come back. And we've had uh, racers here since the inception. They come back every year. And like I said, it's, uh, you know, they can bring their Kevlar boats, aluminum boats. We have a division for pretty much anybody. The Paddles Along the Erie Recreational Race is Wednesday, August 11th, with the first race at 6 p.m. Register before the race at Rotary Park at Canal Harbor, or visit MohawkBellyLiving.com for more information. I'm searching for my soul. Think I'll head on back to New York and the people that I know And I've been riding for 14 days And I've been driving chasing memories away I think I've been lost When you come here to Little Falls, stop in at Holy Family Parish Church. And while you're here, take a close look at all of the stained glass windows. They were made in England. And people who have been around the world and have come to this church comment that these stained glass windows are equal to, if not superior to, many that are found in Europe. For me, this has a very important connection to my life because one of my daughters was married in this church. And I can remember walking down this very aisle. The church was originally built in uh, Cornerstone. The foundation was begun in this church right here in 1874. The Cornerstone was laid in 1878. It took a year and a half to build a church with local masons and all the stone on the outside of the church is local stone quarried outside of Little Falls. And the first mass was here was on Christmas Day in 1879. Back in the uh, 1800s, this was a predominantly Irish uh, parish and uh, by far. And uh, a lot of the Irish became very wealthy as far, as far as uh, businessmen, uh, factory owners, etc. And most of the things that are right in this area right here were donated to the uh, church by one man by the name of, he was a trustee by the name of Dennis Collins. He donated the main altar in um, uh, 1900. Uh, and it's made out of Italian marble and uh, uh, Mexican onyx. In 1905 and six, he donated the two side altars uh, later on, he donated some of the stained glass windows and uh, various other things that are found in the church here. 